Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Parikh and today we will learn how to create a 2D clock animation using After Effects expressions. So let's get started. First of all, we have to create a new composition by right clicking on the project panel, hit the new composition and ok, name it main and width 1920 and height will be 1080 pixels, hit ok, then, and we have to create a new shape layer okay then add an ellipse by clicking on add add an ellipse then add stroke change a stroke size to 5 and go to ellipse path and change its size I prefer 400 you can do whatever you want and I'll just rename it outer then new shape layer name it we just have to rename it type center add an ellipse add fill change fill color to white ok go to its size and make it ready we have this small circle in center so now what we have to do is just create three hands of the clock we have to take a new shape layer and I will rename it again second I'll add a rectangle to it then add a fill make it white hit ok and go to its size and change it 5 by 140 ok change its position to negative 70 ok is it great uh, whatever you do the size here and the position will be half in the minus okay so now here's the main animation create what we have to do is just press R alt click on the clock and type the expression here expression is time star 200 and enter so we have done the animation part so what it uh, this expression will do is animate it rotation so enable the motion blur from here and here too so now we have one hand so now next step is duplicate it rename press R go to the expression and edit it expression will be time star 200 by 12 so this hand will be 12 times slower than the first hand ok so we will do it again control plus T hit enter rename it press R go to the expression so now what you have to do is close the bracket and make it whole divide by 12 it's just that simple animation is complete so if you see it sorry for that Here's the preview. So what we have done is until second completes its 12 cycle, minute will complete one, and when the minute completes its 12 cycle, hour will complete its one cycle. So it's 
same mechanism as the clock but not the timing okay so what you have to do now is create some details so what you have to do is create a new shape layer add a rectangle to it add a fill make it white change its size to 5 by 20 ok now we have to create 11 more like this sorry sorry I forgot something there is to change it position to here that's good now here it is okay so we have to create 11 more details like this or oh, more like this but duplicate it hit R and change its angle to 30 keep adding 30 degree angle until you complete the circle so I'm just going to fast forward it so you don't be annoyed okay so we have done now what we have to do is just select all the details and press ctrl shift C and pre-compose them in a one layer details okay it's done select all these layers press ctrl shift c you can put them clock animation and hit enter now go to the clock animation and then press ctrl plus k for the composition settings and we are going to change its size by 415 by 415 hit enter here we are go back to the main composition and now we are going to animate the whole layer so press S to scale come here on the zero make it zero shift plus page down and make it 100 yeah. select both the keyframes right click on him keyframe assistant and type and there's easy key so the animation will be smooth here it is One more thing, what you can do, right click new text and type the clock and bring it down here, go to align and horizontally align with the center. Then you can do go to effect and preset, type in your typewriter and drop the typewriter effect on the text. Now press you to see it's all the keyframes and drag it here to make it a little fast. Okay. Here it is. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe to our channel and you can check out more videos on our channel. We have great content. Thank you.